Hi, yeah, I was asked to do a puff with Dika setting for a subscriber. She basically has watched my other Dika setting videos, but she wanted her puff more in, uh, more far forward um, and, and done in a way so that the puff doesn't split, hers tends to split. Um, she said to me that she wanted to do the look for a Garba for Navratri. She asked me to look at Jivika's hairstyle when Manvi was getting um, married. It was her engagement evening and she wanted me to do the look based on that. But I kind of done the hairstyle in a way that she could do quite easily. Middle of my parting and get that straight now just so that it won't you know, give, it will just make things a lot easier for me if I get the middle parting ready now and I'm coming back about maybe an inch I would say I'm a little thinner on this side naturally um, I think it's from when I used to tie my hair really tight as a kid and it's really important to separate your hair out when you're doing your hairstyles because otherwise your hair gets in the way of um, your work. <clears throat> then I'm going to take out the crown. Just like I normally do in most of my hairstyles. I'm going to section that off for the minute and I'm going to just keep all this hair at the back now out of the way so none of it ends up by mistake. Um, attached to the front because that's just going to look really odd afterwards then this will get left. Coming back to this smooth bit here I'm just going to split that too in the middle. Get your dig going. It's going to be a bit loose for now but don't worry as long as you anchor it down for the moment then what I do next will help hold it down further so I'm just going to put a little pin in to my little puff Hello. and then I'm just going to mould it into a kind of shape like that so it sits easier. So going back to that hair that I let drop earlier, pull that forward and neaten that off again. What I'm going to do is just twist that to the front for a minute and take some bobby pins and pin really close to um, the part line. Crisscross the pins inwards, making sure they're not bumping up, that they're laying across. My scalp is so sore find that at the time of the month my scalp gets really really sore and tender and that's a lack of iron. Just checking where my dicker is and making sure that that's still in the middle and it's at the right height. Now I'm going to clamp it down so I'm going to pop this on. I'm going to pop it on this way I think just because it looks smoother on that side. Taking some bobby pins and I'm just going to pin that across. I'm going to try and catch the pins underneath. Now before you clamp it down, just check as to how far forward or back it is. And that's, you know, how far forward and back you have it is, uh, depends on what you want. Isn't it great that I'm not back combing any of the hair? Okay, so I'm just going to take my tail comb and just shape this. You can see I'm tugging on it and it's hardly moving. So that's really good, that's really sound. And I haven't pinned it so tight to my scalp that I think to myself, oh my God, I'm gonna get a headache. Um, it isn't that tight either. Taking this hair that's hanging forward, but not the hair that is part of these two side bits, just checking that it goes still in the middle, which it is. I'm going to then just um, cover the puff with this hair or just bring it up and make it more, look more natural looking uh, and not so much like a, a big blob on the head. So taking my hair over the puff, I'm not securing it down just yet, I'm just going to use my fingers to kind of manipulate it. If you want it a lot more um, smoother then do it with a comb, if you want it um, a bit haphazard then you can just do it with your fingers so that you know it looks a bit more I mean that, that, this is never going to look natural but you know it's really nice when you do it with your fingers as well because it looks like you've done it and not had it done as such so just taking a pin and pinning behind it and you can see that there's no way I'm going to get any splitting in the puff with this to go because of the way it's been put in 
So I could have had this much more forward if I'd wanted to as well. Taking the rest of the hair now, I'm just going to place it up and over. It's probably best to do the middle part in one fell swoop so that it looks natural. Like that. Obviously practice and, you know, if you can get someone to help you do that, that's even better. There we go. And then finish off the other side. Now I've taken all of the front up. Um, you don't have to, you can take it from here and then leave this just going straight back, it's up to you. If you find it's too much, you can just press press down on it a little and that should help take it down. And then once I've removed my ponytail and give my hair a good brush, probably need to straighten it again. I don't think that's caught in the pin. I actually used to do this for um, when I used to go to school not like this, I just used to take my hair, twist it and push up. I didn't have to wear a so it never used to split. But you can see now that there's a very minimal split just right there, not much at all. And then all you do is just put a little eyelash glue underneath and stick that down so that it doesn't move. And you've got the hairstyle. If you wanted to know where the jewellery set is from, it's from my website and you'll see a little bar across here with my website details on it. Take care, bye. Hi guys, I've recorded the Pakistani color dupatta and I've done the makeup for this look, so this is how I've done it.